हेलो फ्रेंड्स भावना ठक्कर हियर वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न एंड्रॉइड आई रिसेंटली स्पोक एट अ गूगल आईओ एक्सटेंडेड इवेंट एंड दिस वीडियो इज द री रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द टॉक द टॉपिक इज लेजी लेआउट्स इन जेटपैक कंपोज सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट्स न्यू इन लेजी लेआउट्स इन द जेटपैक कंपोज अनाउंसड इन गूगल आईओ इफ यू आर न्यू टू लेआउट्स एंड लेजी लेआउट्स इन कंपोज डोंट वरी विल टच सम बेसिक्स फर्स्ट what is a column and a row in compose column composable lets you arrange items vertically on the screen so it is equivalent of vertical linear layout in xml similarly row composable lets you arrange items horizontally on the screen so it is equivalent of horizontal linear layout in xml almost every app needs to display collection of items if you know that your use case does not require any scrolling you may wish to use a simple column or row and emit each item's content by iterating over a list like this what if you have a large number of items and you need scrolling you can make the column scrollable by using the vertical scroll modifier and for row you can use the horizontal scroll modifier if things can be solved using column or row why do we need lazy layouts then Using column or row with large number of items can cause performance issues since all the items will be composed and laid out whether or not they are visible. Jetpack Compose 1.2 provides you with lazy column, lazy row and lazy grid which consists of lazy horizontal and lazy vertical grid. Let me tell you a brief history about this. Jetpack Compose 1.0 provided lazy row and lazy column as stable APIs and it included lazy vertical grid as an experimental API. lazy horizontal grid was added as a uh, experimental api in compose 1.2 alpha 05 version however with jetpack compose 1.2 beta versions all these apis are stable lazy column produces a vertical scrolling list lazy row produces a horizontal scrolling list and lazy grid provides both vertical and horizontal scrolling list The advantage of lazy layout is that it will only compose and lay out items which are visible in the component's viewport which significantly improves performance. The other advantage is the amount of code that you write with this lazy layouts. Consider adding recycler view in your app. You first include its entry in layout xml file. Then you define the xml layout for each item. Then you write the code for recycler view adapter and view holder and finally you bind the adapter to recycler view in activity or fragment and now look at the code for lazy column cool isn't it lazy components like lazy row and lazy column provide a lazy list scope block the dsl of lazy list scope provides a number of functions for describing items in the layout as you can see the function item adds a single item like a header or a footer the function items adds multiple items you can also add collection of items such as a list or array using items function there is also a variant of items extension function called items indexed which provides the index let's discuss lazy grids now which include lazy vertical and horizontal grid A lazy vertical grid will display its items in a vertically scrollable container spanned across multiple columns while lazy horizontal grid will have the same behavior on horizontal axis. Grids have the same powerful API capabilities as lists and they also use a very similar DSL lazy grid scope for describing the content. Adding items to lazy vertical grid is very identical to how we did with lazy column. Here we use columns parameter to specify how many columns the grid will have. For lazy horizontal grid, we specify rows parameter. In order to add space between elements, we use vertical and horizontal arrangements. But notice that here we have fixed number of columns and that may not look good on large screen devices like tablets. In order to support devices with different screen sizes, you can use grid cells dot adaptive. and specify the minimum width for each column number of columns now become dynamic based on device width now using the minimum width and device width grid will fit as many columns as possible 
any remaining width is distributed equally among the columns after the number of columns is calculated. What if you need is not covered by lazy column, lazy row or lazy grid. In Jetpack Compose 1.2 added a new experimental API called lazy layout. Also sticky headers are experimental. But what are these? The sticky header pattern is useful when displaying list of grouped data. Here you can see example of contact list. It is grouped by context initial. To achieve a sticky header, you can use experimental sticky header function providing the header content. It was not possible to cover everything in this talk, so you can watch these workshops and sessions from Google I.O. which are relevant to today's talk and they will clear all your fundamentals around the state and layouts in Compose. These are the references for the talk. Thank you and please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in comments what all topics you want to learn next. See you in my next video tutorial.